Technology and Livelihood Education. Agriculture and Fishery Arts for Grade 7. Our topic is Poultry and Livestock Materials, Tools and Equipment and Their Uses Based on Industry Standards. Review of the previous lesson. What breed of rabbit is recognized as the largest domestic rabbit? What breed of goat that has no markings and erect ears, it is known for its very good milking ability? What breed of cattle is recognized for its distinctive white face and red body, and known for good beef quality? This breed of swine is known for its black color with a white belt that covers across the front legs around its body. It has erect ears, heavily muscled, lean meat breed. Unscramble the words below to form a new word or words related to agriculture. Animal housing. Animal housing is any kind of shelter provided to animals for physiological security and protection. Feeding trough. Feeding trough is place or receptacle where animals are fed to avoid food wastage. Livestock are farm animals like hogs, cattle, goats and rabbits that are reproduced under man's care. Poultry is a term used for all feathered animals that provides other way of income generating project for families. Waterer is a receptacle where water is placed for easy drinking access to farm animals. Our topic is Poultry and Livestock Materials, Tools and Equipment and Their Uses Based on Industry Standards. The Poultry Housing Poultry housing is a shelter provided to feathered animals to protect them from the harsh environmental climatic conditions that can affect a chicken's growth, performance, and productivity. The following are the types of poultry houses. First is the free range or the extensive poultry house system. It is the oldest type of poultry housing where small number of birds slash chickens are reared. 10 to 12 birds per family of farmers. Free-range poultry housing requires less capital investment to construct. Next is the semi-intensive poultry housing. It is a common type of housing among small-scale poultry farmers. This system of poultry rearing is partly free-range and partly intensive type. It is a more economical use of land in comparison to the free-range system. The folding units housing. In this type of housing system, Poultry rearing is the same as that of a semi-intensive system. Here, a poultry house followed by a run where the whole area of the run is enclosed by wire nettings and the space requirement is less and the total poultry unit can be shifted from one place to another. You will spend less in feeding the birds as they pick most of their food from the range. And the intensive system housing. This housing system is the most efficient, convenient, and economical system for modern poultry production with huge numbers. Commercial poultry is applied in this poultry housing system. The types of intensive poultry housing. The first type of intensive system housing is the deep litter system. It is widely used by successful poultry raisers. Known for other term as chicken coop. The floor of the chicken house with beddings or good litter materials. A good litter material for your poultry farm could be six straw, sawdust, or leaves to the depth of two to three inches. There is easy access to feed, water, and egg collection. 
Next is the slatted or wire floor poultry system. This poultry houses can be constructed on treated wooden piers 0.8 to 1 m above the ground. This system allows a lot of ventilation into the house and is easy for removing chicken droppings. It is easy to collect manure as the chicken droppings pass through the openings on the wire floor. The chicken house is cleaner with better sanitation. Next is the slut come litter poultry system. This combines both the features and advantages of the slat system with that of the deep litter system. It has slats on either side of the house against each side wall, leaving the central portion for the littered floor. The water and feeding trough for this system are placed on the slated area so that waste can drop to the floor through the slots. It also has drinkers and feeders in the litter area. This housing system is good if you are producing broilers or going into the production of eggs for hatching. The multi-tier housing system or aviaries. It is considered the best non-cage alternative to cage systems for large-scale egg production. This is because it allows the housing of large flocks, ensuring excellent production results and low mortality. The spacious character of the aviary provides living space at several levels. Approximately 18 hens per square meters can be stocked on the flower surface. The cage or battery housing system. It is the latest system of poultry rearing. The breadth and height of the cage are 1 foot and 1% foot respectively, and the length depends on the number of birds to be kept in the cage. However, it is better not to keep more than 10 to 12 birds per cage. The birds are confined in a cage just large enough to permit limited movement and allow them to stand and sit comfortably. Feeder and waterer is found outside the cage. There is less cracking of eggs in this system as the birds cannot perk on the eggs. It is easy to collect eggs in this method. The perches. Perches are horizontal and vertical poles installed as a resting place for poultry animals. It should be provided, especially during summer, to keep animals cool and comfortable. Feeding trough is a long narrow container made of plastic or metal used to hold food for farm animals. Waterer or drinking trough is a man-made or natural receptacle intended to provide drinking water for poultry animals. The dropping board, dropping board, is the area found below the roost bar in a chicken coop. It helps by collecting the manure and keeping it contained so that it is easy to remove after a chicken has shed its droppings. The chick brooder is the equipment used to provide warmth and light to rear the baby chicks during the first few weeks of life. Poultry transport crates or cages. It is suitable for transporting a range of poultry and are ideal for use in both commercial and small-scale operations. It is easy to clean and maintain, making it a cost-effective and practical choice for poultry farmers and transporters. Nests. Usually a circular structure of twigs, grass, mud, etc., formed by a bird, often high in a tree, as a protected place in which to lay and incubate its eggs and rear its young. The following are the materials and equipment used for cattle. The cattle housing, cattle housing, is the living space or house for cattle. It must provide a comfortable, clean, well-drained and dry-lying area together with shelter from adverse weather, space to allow the animal to move, lie down and rise freely as well as access to adequate food and water. Here are the examples of housing for cattle. The feeding trough for the cattle. A long narrow shallow receptacle. Usually in a barn or stable from which cattle or horses feed. The drinking trough. A well-built trough where a fresh and clean supply of water for cattle animals is placed for easy drinking. This can be made from wood, galvanized iron, or cement materials. The shades, or sheds, is a place for the cows to relax and sleep during the night. Each cow has their own place in the resting area, called cubicle. The cubicles must be covered with a roof made of iron sheets or mabati, or grass that is called makuti. And the portable loading chute. 
The loading chute is an optional trailer that is used to transport animals. The loading chute should be located directly off the crowding pen, allowing easy movement of cattle. The following are the materials and equipment used for raising swine. The Swine Housing Swine housing is designed to protect pigs and give them the most ideal environment for growth and production. The Pig Feeding Trough A disc-shaped feeder trough can be positioned in the center of the pig barns so that pigs can take feed from all directions. The Swine Waterer it is a modern piped water systems within buildings on pig farms provide pigs with continuous access to drinking water, and on many farms are also used for short periods to medicate growing pigs with antibiotics to help keep them healthy and productive. And lastly, the hog wallow. The hog wallow adds comfort to the hogs during hot weather. If properly used this may improve the growth rate of growing swine. Knowing the right housing arrangements for pigs, cattle, and poultry is vital to ensuring animal well-being since it shields them from inclement weather, lowers stress levels, and permits them to exhibit their natural behaviors, all of which are vital to their health. Additionally, well-designed housing plays a vital role in health management as it helps prevent the spread of diseases through proper ventilation and sanitation, ultimately promoting healthier animals. Overall, knowledge of proper housing is fundamental to the sustainability, efficiency, and ethical treatment of livestock farming. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.